Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. In this video we'll see, uh, this is a breaking news from Fox News. I will play it for you. Uh, just This is just, a, you know, a minute ago. Uh, and here they will show you a picture from Router News Agency. And this is a different picture, which is the original. If you go back in here, you will see this is the, this is the image they post for everybody to see. And you will see they crop the picture and they zoom in so the guy who is holding the knife he will not show and it will be very clear the soldier is really uh, bleeding you know you can't tell in here especially in this area you know this is not a hit of, uh, of just uh, something you know something bad happening here so what they did they paused those pictures in their news but they did not show the original one you will see now the original one this is where they hide the picture, the side of it, here we go. Look at this big knife. This is a big knife. This is a knife, you know, you, you use it for, for army. This is, not, this is not a kitchen knife. This is not a kitchen knife. This is, you take with you for hunting, for, for fighting, for, you know, but this is not a kitchen knife. This is a long knife and can kill a man easy. Why they uh, edit the picture and why they zoom in? Why the media in the West became very filthy? This is what will happen when you hire those Hamas and the Muslims in your news agency. Your news agency is going to turn to Hamas news agency. The same as BBC. You know, go to the BBC. They will never say one bad thing about Hamas or about Hezbollah or about the Muslims. What they will post only, everything is either against the Christians or the Jew. It's controlled 100% by the Muslims. And the others who they work there, they don't they turn potato, they don't dare to say anything. You know, who, 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 who want to fight the Muslims anyway? You know, those pure European, they became people without teeth. So they, they do edit the news everywhere. This is not only a router news. Trust me, this is will happen in everywhere. Wherever, and I am sure, that the journalist from that news agency is hired and chosen by the Muslims, which means, okay, you want to send with us a journalist, we will choose his name. We will choose his name. We will pick up our guy, and this is what happened. They choose the one who is one of them, a terrorist like them. Otherwise, give me a reason why they're doing that. A news agency, their job is to give the truth, not to play with it. And always, always, this is what happened. They switched the truth upside down. This is why I really, they make me sick. I spit on them, you know, and shame. Shame. And they, say, they, say, they give you a speech about, you know, we are the one who just don't take a side. You know, we are just a news agency and we are Western. You know, when you listen to, you know, Reuters news agency, you say, it's a Reuters. This is not Hamas. The fact it's Hamas. It is Hamas. Because they will not allow in the ground, the Muslims, anyone to be with them unless he is a supporter of them to guarantee that everything will go the way they want. Watch and spread the video and expose those filthy. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And a lot of media these days is owned by terrorists. See ya. Look for you now on new questions about the news coverage of an Israeli raid. Now this raid involved, you, heard, you, you know this story, it involved a convoy that was reportedly carrying relief supplies to Palestinians in Gaza. And the accusations involved Reuters news service. Okay, now you remember this, this got international attention. The pro-Palestinian groups were breaking the, the Israeli blockade of Gaza. And the Israelis told them, don't go any further. Uh, all right, they, they disregarded those orders and they plunged forward. The Israelis boarded the ships and on one ship those Israeli soldiers were attacked. Nine people wound up dead, and the Israelis were blamed. Now, we see this photo, okay, from Reuters. This is a photo from last week's deadly raid of that ship bound for Gaza. Here you can see one of the Israeli soldiers on the deck of the ship, bloodied and fighting with someone. Now, Reuters ran this photo last week, okay? You see it? Look in particular on screen left here as you watch. Now, look last week. This is the same photo coming up here. But take a look to your lower right. 
On one, you can see what appears to be someone holding a large knife. Do you see it there? See the large knife in the one shot, but not in the other? Now critics are blasting Reuters, accusing it of intentionally altering the photo and the story. And that's not all that's wrong with this photo. Trace Gallagher picks up the investigation. And I want to make a couple of huge points right off the top, Megan. One, Reuters is based in the U.K., and it reaches more than a billion people every single day. And many times in the past, Reuters has been accused of being anti-Israel and pro-Palestinian. And you talked about those photos. I want to run through them again if we can. I want to show the original and then the crop version and put them side by side. This is the original. This ran in a Turkish newspaper on Sunday. You see right there on the lower left-hand side of your screen, or right-hand side of your screen, you can see one of those so-called peace activists holding a knife. Well, then Reuters released pictures later on in the day. And these is what, it, this is the crop version. Drop you can the lower spot third, shadow yeah. it there. Yeah, drop that lower third. The knife is no longer visible. You can see that right there. Now let's put them side by side because this is where the context is changed, right? If you have those pictures and one there's a bloody Israeli soldier and a knife and the other there's a bloody Israeli soldier and no knife. Now I want to go to the second set of pictures because this was also released by Reuters. This, by the way, would be the crop version first. It shows them dragging an Israeli soldier. There's nothing there, right? There's nothing at the... You see the Israeli soldier's left elbow laying on the ground. This is the original picture. You can clearly see there is a knife in the picture. And if you look directly below that knife, there is a puddle of blood that was cropped out. We contacted Reuters today, and we got their comment, and it says the following. When we realized in the normal editorial process that a dagger was inadvertently cropped from the images... Reuters immediately moved the original set as well. But, Megan, as I mentioned at the top, this is not the first time. When I was in northern Israel covering the war between Israel and Hezbollah back in 2006, Reuters was accused of doctoring a number of photos that make the Israeli Defense Forces look more aggressive. Reuters acknowledged and admitted, yes, those photographs had been doctored. They fired the photographer. They fired the photo editor. This time they have given us a statement concerning these pictures as far as action against those involved. We have not yet heard about that. They're still saying this was all part of the normal editorial process. We will hear more about these pictures coming up, Megan. Yeah, it's relevant because those who supported the Palestinians said... These are peace activists on this boat. They're right. peace activists. And the Israeli uh, Defense Forces said, as we boarded, and everybody saw that video, we were being attacked by knives and by steel rods and, other, and by other means. And now this picture, right. I mean, we've seen some video, but this picture clearly shows the Israeli soldier uh, being held down, and then you see the knife by somebody who is very much in control right above him, in addition to uh, another body uh, nearby in a pile of blood. So that obviously, from a journalistic perspective, would need to be included. All right, Trace Gallagher, following it for us. Trace, good work.